When the news media reported that terror plot suspect Mansour Arbabsiar had once lived in Corpus Christi, the secretary of the South Texas Islamic Society, Samir Jiffy Balul, winced. Uh, he's a, somebody I never met, and he doesn't represent me or my faith or my communities. Of area residents who are religious, the overwhelming majority are Christian. Muslims are few in number, but they have an active, growing community. But Jiffy Balul says most Iranians living here seem to be secular, and he says Arbabsiar, from what has been reported, was certainly not religious. Because he used to go to the strip joints and drink regularly, and it uh, doesn't sound somebody who's like a devout Muslim or who's just... Most people in this tourist destination had never heard of Mansour Abadziar before his arrest last week. He was mainly known by people who dealt with him at this used automobile sales lot near downtown. But one of his former business partners, David Tomshe, describes Arbabsiar as a simpleton who failed at even menial tasks. He would always lose keys. He was very disorganized with the numbers. He, he might try to sell you a car and he'd say it's 89, it might be an 85. And I don't, I don't know if he's as much trying to cheat you as he just could not remember. In spite of his irresponsible nature, Tom Shea says Arbabsiar was well liked by most people who knew him here. He's a uh, nice, likable guy, you know, he's friendly, easy to get along with. But Tom Shea says the lure of money may have taken hold of Arbabsiar. I can't believe that he could set anything up. He could be somehow, somebody just said, well, you go do this and we'll give you some money. I, I, but I'm sure he wasn't the mastermind. Most of the other people who knew Arbapsiar agree that the man they knew would not have been capable of carrying out any kind of plot. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Corpus Christi, Texas.